Good morning, everyone. Um, I guess not good morning, good afternoon. It's 12.30. Me and Isla are at uh, Home Depot. We're picking up some supplies. It's another day of fun-filled work at the house. Uh, Josh is doing the skirting today for our new entryway. Um, we had the mason come the other day, which I'll show you when I get home and do some cement work under. And now Josh is doing the rest of the steps with like a um, cedar slot board. So we're doing that today. I got a lot of staining to do. I started an unexpected project in our bedroom that Josh is not happy about. <laughs> Does anybody ever have those like manic days where like a project they've been thinking about doing for like months, but they're like, no, it's too big of a project and don't start it. And then you just start ripping Mama, down wallpaper. That's what I did. I probably shouldn't have done that. What? Oh, Isla brought about seven dolls with her for our excursion this afternoon. Right, Aya? Did you take off your seatbelt already? Yes, you did. All right, off we go. Starbucks order on the way home, so he's getting something ridiculous, quad venti, what is even that? Is that like a triple, like four shots of espresso or something? In a venti? Anyway, so we fit the wood in the car, barely. So this is what we got going on right now. We have had some people come in and do this um, masonry work to match our foundation. We're gonna paint it the same color eventually. And Josh is now putting um, some supports in to make a skirting. I think it's going to be like cedar shakes going down. And then we're going to paint it, I mean, uh, stain it dark to match our um, door. Dad, don't forget the door. What? The door, oh, so you're taking my idea. Dad? What idea? My idea to uh, shape it to the side Dad. right there. This was never that's, that's how I visually explained it oh, to you. Please. So, change of plans. Um, I was just in the middle of putting the kids in the car, and Isla was in the back of the car, um, playing, trying to get her dolls together to bring to come up, sit up in her seat, and she was fussing about something. So, I went to open the back trunk of the the car, and I didn't know she was leaning on it, and she flipped right out and smashed her head right on our driveway. Um, our driveway is kind of like on a slant so when you open the door like this happens with our groceries all the time if things are leaning they just fall right out so uh, I felt so bad for her it was bleeding a lot so I was freaking out but it wasn't a bad cut at all but you never know with the head because I feel like sometimes you can get little tiny gashes and um, it bleeds a lot so it wasn't a big cut at all um, but she does have a little bump on her head so we have some ice on it and she's sitting watching um, one of her shows. I just wanna like monitor her for a little bit. Um, make sure she's okay. She seems to be fine, but you know, you never wanna mess around with that. But so that's that. Never a dull moment when you're a parent, right? So we might go to the park later, depending on how she's feeling. Josh is still outside working. I'm just gonna straighten up a little bit inside um, uh, and monitor Isla to make sure she's okay before we head out. Hey girly, how's your head feeling? Better. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow only golden. Spring 
morning. So we got a little crazy yesterday after I got home from the park. Josh had to have me run over to the lumber yard to pick something up so I didn't get to finish our vlog. So this is the next day. Uh, we already dropped off Cullen at school. We'll probably just vlog a little bit of the day. And um, Isla and I are gonna go where? Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are So let me show you guys quick what we got accomplished yesterday Josh got this all framed out So now we just have to do this leader, the cedar, leader, the cedar um, planks He also got this part of the fence reinstalled. We can't stain it probably this season because if you do, the stain doesn't really adhere. You have to like, it's pressure treated. So it's probably gonna look a little bit crazy for the next year looking all <laughs> mismatched, but that's fine. But I'm excited. I think that this part is dry so I can probably now paint it to match. Don't mind the fabulous hair. <laughs> You guys want a tutorial on this? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of the fun finds that we got at Trader Joe's. Uh, I unpacked most of the stuff. Most of it's just like restocking of like pasta and beans and yogurt and stuff like that. But I had a couple things that I found that I thought are going to be yummy. So I found this autumnal harvest soup. Um, so it's the creamy tomato based soup with pumpkin and butternut squash. So we saw that in the same section as these butternut squash pasta and they kind of look like mini pumpkins so I feel like my kids would actually have fun with this because it's something different looking and they look like mini pumpkins so Isla was very excited about that so we picked that up I'll have to let you know how that is and um I also got this kale and cauliflower chili with navy beans and it was pre-made in here so I got two of these and then I bought these um baguettes they're like the half cooked ones so that you bake them yourself so they're nice and yummy out of the oven so I thought like cut these up with some chili and that's like a meal that's done and quick and yummy. So I was excited about that. I also just grabbed some um, tortilla chips for the chili or the soup, depending on what everybody wants. I just realized I show you guys, um, I showed you guys the autumn soup instead of the creamy um, pasta sauce. So the pasta sauce is the one that I bought for like the pumpkin looking pasta. And the other soup was just a soup that I bought to eat with like um, a baguette or something. So yeah, there's two different ones. There's all of the autumn flavors happening at Trader Joe's right now. And last but not least, every time I go to Trader Joe's, I get these. I don't know if you've tried them. They're the dark chocolate covered caramel. These are amazing and I already had four. The problem with these is once I have these in the house, I will probably finish this within, within three days. So I kind of have to like hide it from myself. Because I'm a chocolate chocolate lover. I don't like to buy lots of candies. My husband, unfortunately, likes to buy lots of candies. That's our candy basket right there. <laughs> the kids know where it is. Um, that's the problem. If I have it in the house, I will eat it. If I don't have it in the house, I will not eat it. So I'm going to put this on a high shelf and try to only have like two a day until I finish it. But these are so yummy if you guys like chocolate and caramel. here um it's I probably have an hour before I have to go pick up Cullen from school and I still have to vacuum and mop and it's harder to get this stuff done quicker when I'm filming so thank you guys for watching us today and yesterday sorry this was like a double day kind of vlog um let me know if you guys actually kind of like that if it's 
I could do like a day in the week kind of as well. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching though and taking time out of your day um, to watch our videos and like our videos. We really appreciate it. I'm trying to get out a video this week of hair related. Um, I think I'm either going to do a French braid tutorial or a little girl's hairstyles like for on the go. So let me know which one you guys would prefer and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.